It's all about two bridges in Belize. One is the McCall River Bridge in Cayo, the biggest bridge in Belize. The next is the Mullins River Bridge on the Coastal Highway, which is the new freight access from Belize City for everything heading down south. You are going to learn a lot about bridge designs in Belize from m and Engineering and see innovative construction techniques from its director, Roki Matos. You will see the building of a bridge start to finish by the men of Cisco Construction. These two companies are building the most modern bridges under contracts with the government of Belize. Projects funded in part by the Caribbean Development Bank. This television program and upcoming episodes are part of the Greatest Places on Earth TV series produced by Steve O'Dell. So get ready, because you are going to learn a lot as we sit back and watch to build a bridge. Welcome to these very special episodes of the Greatest Places on Earth TV series entitled To Build a Bridge. My name is Steve O'Dell and I'll be your host. Its purpose is to document the construction of two very modern bridges being built here in Belize. With the need for new and more modern bridges being of the highest priority, there is no better way to demonstrate the ambition of these two construction companies than to give you the opportunity to learn firsthand of the processes necessary in building a modern bridge. The players in this unprecedented TV series include M&M Engineering, with the innovative bridge building talent of its director, Roki Matos, and his team as well as the undeniable machine and manpower of the Cisco Construction Company. The significance of these two bridges represented is equally important, being that the first will become the biggest bridge in Belize, and the second will open up a new north-south shipping route here in Belize. It's been only 30-some years since Belize became a country, and many of our bridges were built by the British when they occupied this country. These old bridges are being replaced by companies like m and Engineering and Cisco Construction. And that is the reason for this show. Those traveling through the winding mountain roads of the Stan Creek District will have to cross no less than five one-lane bridges. These troublesome 100-year-old bridges were designed for trains to cross, and thus they stop traffic and limit the size of vehicles and cargo that can be transported down south. The future of transporting cargo from Belize City South is the new Coastal Highway, a straight shot from La Democracia to Dangriga. On this road, we will cover the construction of a new modern bridge built and designed by m and Engineering spanning the Mullins River. So now, with this new Coastal Highway, there will be no more need to brave the winding mountain roads or one-lane bridges of the Hummingbird Highway. And incidentally, this road continues on, crossing over eight more brand new bridges built by m and and will, in the near future, lead into Guatemala, expanding commerce for both countries, thanks to the men of m and The other project, when completed, will be the biggest bridge in Belize, located in the twin towns of San Ignacio, Santa Elena, in the Cayo District. This new modern bridge will span the McCall River and is a saving grace for an area being served by not one, but two ailing bridges, the Hawksworth Bridge, built in 1949, and the Low Lying Bridge, which is prone to flooding many times per year. This area needs new modern bridges, as do neighboring areas, which are still being served by hand-cranked ferries. These old-timey ferries are fun for tourists, but too slow for Belizeans with places to go. And additionally, these highways lead to the western border with Guatemala, so vehicles will need to pass in great numbers. This new modern McCall River Bridge has the attention of the entire country and was built through a partnership between Cisco Construction and m and Engineering, financed by the Caribbean Development Bank. This new bridge is the kind of stuff that dreams are made of. In years to come, the Belizean people will talk about the days when men and machine worked together to build the modern bridges of Belize. So let's roll up our sleeves, because we're about to get our hands dirty to build a bridge. To build a bridge will return after these messages. Have your new building sprayed with polyurethane insulation. It keeps the hot out and keeps the 
cool in. Your building is literally being cooked by the sun and it will leak in time. Our polyurethane insulation seals your roof from leaks, protecting your investment and saving you money at the same time. New Buildings Limited on Iguana Creek Road. The men of Rhineland invite you to have the best weekend of your life by grilling outdoors with their premium meats. Make your own party. Invite all your friends. There ain't nothing better than a great hamburger straight off the grill. Those sausages look good. So does the steak. Best weekend of my life. Rhineland Meats. Western Rebuilders in Spanish Lookout is in the business of making your engine new again. There are so many services offered at Western Rebuilders. They are the best engine rebuilding machine shop in Belize. Put your trust in the Mennonites at Western Rebuilders and let your engine live again. At Caribbean Chicken, we know what it takes to produce healthy chickens. The all-natural food, the breeder stock, the careful analysis of growth, state-of-the-art incubators, a healthy environment, modern processing, and vacuum packaging. But you just know that it tastes good. Caribbean Chicken. The best buildings are made of steel, fabricated right here in Belize, made to last forever and withstand the hurricane winds. Your steel building is erected right on the site by able men and giant machinery. Your investment is important to us at New Buildings Limited on Iguana Creek Road. Your new building dream can become a reality. It's easy with Remick's seamless roofing, guttering, and siding. It's the best design and made to last. Creating seamless pieces up to 95 feet in length. Take your project to the next level with Remick. Iguana Creek Road. Iguana Boys Services. You won't believe their prices. Hunter Tools and Hardware. KYB Shocks and Struts. Oils, hydraulic fluid, car care products, and more. Honda Motorcycles. Come and get your oil changed. Brake jobs, shocks, and struts. Best prices around. Iguana Boys near Spanish Lookout. Hey, I want to introduce you to a better way to build homes and commercial buildings. Light steel is the best way to build your home or commercial building. Stout, perfectly square, hurricane proof, made to last. Come see us at Iguana Creek Welding. Love the taste of a good steak is like music to your mouth. So tender and juicy, just melts in your mouth. Mm. The men of Rhineland invite you to listen to what your mouth has been saying to you. Eat a tender, juicy Rhineland steak today. It's like music to your mouth. The best meat in Belize is Rhineland Meats. Atlantic Bank, building the future together. We now return to, to build a bridge. It is a commonly known fact that Belize is in great need of modern bridges. In this young country, every day cars and trucks still drive over one lane converted railroad bridges that are over a hundred years old. Why in some places hand cranked ferries are still used or simply just boats. There are even some places still where vehicles must drive through the river. These old ways are great for tourist photo ops, but Belize is changing, and these times call for growth. M&M Engineering and Cisco Construction Company are dedicated to changing the face of Belize for the better. And no need for a new modern bridge could be greater than the need for the McCall River Bridge, soon to connect the twin towns of Santa Elena and San Ignacio in the Cayo District. Separated by the McCall River, a river prone to flooding, this area is prone to flooding due to the huge area that drains into the McCall River Basin. 
Although this river's levels are monitored by hydroelectric dams in three locations, when the rainfall is excessive in the mountain areas, the excess water spills over the top of the dams, causing a serious rise in water levels downstream. These beloved towns are blessed by being one of the most desired destinations for tourists and residents countrywide, and yet disadvantaged by these outdated one-lane bridges. The main bridge where traffic leaves San Ignacio is the Hawksworth Bridge, a 75-year-old cable span bridge built by the British long before the independence of Belize. Repaired and patched over and over again, this bridge has served the Twin Towns faithfully for three quarters of a century, but its service has reached its end. Large trucks and buses exceed the weight limitations and quite frankly, one lane is not enough for the volume of vehicles now certainly not for a growing city. The other bridge is a one-lane wooden bridge called the Low-Lying Bridge, and although recently rebuilt, this bridge will be covered with floodwaters at least four times per year, forcing all traffic to share the Hawksworth Bridge. This is a major pain for everyone, including the poor old Hawksworth. The new bridge is 55 foot high and 510 foot long. It has two lanes and sidewalks and will be the biggest bridge in Belize. With this bridge, the area will be able to grow the way it deserves. It is no surprise that this bridge is the primary route to the western border with Guatemala. This giant of a bridge is a partnership between M&M Engineering and Cisco Construction. Built on plans redesigned by Roki Matos, the director of M&M Engineering. This bridge is anchored by M&M pre-stressed concrete piles and is supported by M&M's pre-stressed concrete beams. The overall construction of the bridge will be done by the men of Cisco Construction Company under the leadership of engineer Philip Pinner. And this is not the first time that M&M Engineering and Cisco Construction have worked together on a project of this importance. Take for example the Southern Highway Corridor System, or the Pan American Highway, which runs from the Southern Highway near Punta Gorda to the Guatemalan border. This scenic highway, built by Cisco, winds through the enchanting land of the Mayas, with eight new bridges crossing sparkling rivers and streams, all built by M&M Engineering. This highway has a dual purpose and will soon create a new border with Belize and Guatemala, forever influencing trade and tourism between the two countries. Here is where construction and art are combined, blending progress and nature, and is truly something that should be experienced by all. A bright future awaits Belize with the completion of these new bridges, thanks to M&M and Cisco. What you are seeing is the very last bridge designed and fabricated in England, transported across the ocean on board a ship and then erected here in Belize by none other than Cisco Construction Company. These bridges came at an incredible cost for the government of Belize and it was this overspending of the people's money that gave birth to the idea of using a local company to design and build these bigger bridges here in Belize in their entirety. And that's what M&M does. Now let's learn more. This story begins where this pre-stressed concrete is being made at mile 12 near Ladyville. They call this the pile factory. Here, men are shaping this metal to become part of the piles. Piles are posts that are driven into the earth to give a structure a more stable footing in often unstable construction sites. This wire wrapped around eight steel cables are the super skeleton of these concrete posts known as piles. But you ain't seen nothing yet. First, these steel cables are stretched like giant guitar strings with this air-driven tool. You might want to step back as these cables will be stretched equaling 30,000 pounds and then encased in concrete, made strong in every way, inside and out. I think that's F-sharp, Cadet. See, this mold is ready to pour. It has eight privates uh, tendons in it. These are cables that are been tensioned about 30,000 pounds. So, you with me so far? Next, we add concrete. Not just any concrete, made from special materials, obtaining a perfect pour, withstanding great pressure and spanning greater distances. Hundreds of bags combined with a certain kind of gravel and sand, then mixed just right, 
moving along a conveyor belt to a waiting concrete mixing truck. This is plasticizer which reduces the need for water, makes the concrete more workable, and produces a more dense concrete. The process is really very scientific and not very commonly known, and that is another reason why M&M Engineering is so in demand here in Belize. Well, the men are standing by awaiting the pour. This is all about timing as well. This special concrete needs to be worked and finessed in a timely manner. As the mix comes down the chute, at a glance, even an untrained eye can see that this is no ordinary concrete. See what I mean? These men will work their way down this mold, smoothing out the super concrete. Wet for now, but when it's dry, these piles will stand the test of time, supporting bridges and structures for generations, and a specimen of this concrete is saved to prove the batch. This is what we call a tube, that is used for cube test. In concrete production, you do both, you do either tube or cylinder test. On this side, we're using a cube test. Well, the concrete is hardened. Let's see what we've done here. Figured into this design are cable loops so that these monsters can be jerked out of their molds by a giant construction crane. 60 feet long and able to withstand great pressure and huge weight mainly because of those eight steel cables stretched beyond comprehension, then encased in our super concrete mix. Built in a similar way are double T-slabs, I-beams, and these unusual pier supports that we will see later on in the segment. Now on a bridge construction site, the engineers are working with surveying equipment to pinpoint the exact spot that these piles will be used. Working with a blueprint and mathematical formulas calculating the exact location where the weight of the bridge needs supported. Now meet the metal monster who will drive this concrete post deep into the earth, called a diesel hammer or pile driver. Either way, prepare to be humbled. The men are making final adjustments and fueling up this machine as the crane stands by to hoist it into position. This crew of men work together, taking measurements and strapping the pile to the business end of this diesel hammer or pile driver. As one end of this 60 foot long pile is hoisted to the heavens, the other end of the pile dangles dangerously as the crane operator swings it closer to the position for its insertion. Men muscle the pile the last few inches as it is lowered into the hole and check to see that it is perfectly upright. Upon approval by the boss man, this diesel hammer is raised to drive this first pile. With the thunder and stomp of a dinosaur, the pile driver begins to slam this concrete post with a force unimaginable. Again and again, the pile is driven into the earth as a man monitors its precise descent into the ground. It's really quite an operation on the grandest scale, how these men harness the mighty power of this machine to put in place a structure as impressive as a bridge. As the ground continues to tremble beneath our feet, Across the river, men are cutting off the piles already driven to the correct lengths to support the bridge floor. M&M does all of this and more, and at a reasonable cost, and the money stays right here in Belize. These are the reasons behind the making of this television series. Now let's learn more about the men who build these bridges. Life for the crew building a bridge is challenging to say the least. These men commit themselves to living at the bridge site, 10 days of working and then 4 days off for a year at a time, sometimes longer. These men are bending and shaping steel rods, building forms and placing the steel, mixing, pouring and finishing cement, welding, earth moving and so much more. But there is also time to unwind, cool off, eat a good meal, surf the web or kick around a soccer ball because soon you're back to work on this isolated work site. These men know that they have a future with M&M Engineering, so they give it their all. They are the able-bodied sons of Belize, full of spirit and fire. Over at the Cisco camp, their crew is dealing with their own problems. Building the biggest bridge in Belize is no small feat. Working in partnership with M&M Engineering, they are doing tough jobs in the scorching sun, pouring rain in swift moving water or 55 feet in the air, or as luck would have it, during a Category 5 hurricane. When Hurricane Earl hit, the McCall River rose 75 feet. One would think that all is lost, 
that these companies plan for these types of things and work like the devil to stay ahead of the storm. So when the sky is clear, the men of Cisco and M&M continue on, keeping to the schedule, to build a bridge. To build a bridge will return after these messages. Have your new building sprayed with polyurethane insulation. It keeps the hot out and keeps the cool in. Your building is literally being cooked by the sun and it will leak in time. Our polyurethane insulation seals your roof from leaks, protecting your investment and saving you money at the same time. New Buildings Limited on Iguana Creek Road. The men of Rhineland invite you to have the best weekend of your life by grilling outdoors with their premium meats. Make your own party. Invite all your friends. There ain't nothing better than a great hamburger straight off the grill. Those sausages look good. So does the steak. Best weekend of my life. Rhineland Meats. Western Rebuilders in Spanish Lookout is in the business of making your engine new again. There are so many services offered at Western Rebuilders. They are the best engine rebuilding machine shop in Belize. Put your trust in the Mennonites at Western Rebuilders and let your engine live again. At Caribbean Chicken, we know what it takes to produce healthy chickens. The all-natural food, the breeder stock, the careful analysis of growth, state-of-the-art incubators, a healthy environment, modern processing, and vacuum packaging. But you just know that it tastes good. Caribbean chicken. The best buildings are made of steel, fabricated right here in Belize, made to last forever and withstand the hurricane winds. Your steel building is erected right on the site by able men and giant machinery. Your investment is important to us at New Buildings Limited on Iguana Creek Road. Your new building dream can become a reality. It's easy with Remick seamless roofing, guttering, and siding. It's the best design and made to last. Creating seamless pieces up to 95 feet in length. Take your project to the next level with Remick. Iguana Creek Road. Iguana Boys Services. You won't believe their prices. Hunter Tools and Hardware. KYB Shocks and Struts. Oils, hydraulic fluid, car care products, and more. Honda Motorcycles. Come and get your oil changed. Brake jobs, shocks, and struts. Best prices around. Iguana Boys in their Spanish lookout. Hey, I want to introduce you to a better way to build homes and commercial buildings. Light steel is the best way to build your home or commercial building. Stout, perfectly square, hurricane proof, made to last. Come see us at Iguana Creek Welding. Love the taste of a good steak is like music to your mouth. So tender and juicy, just melts in your mouth. Mm. The men of Rhineland invite you to listen to what your mouth has been saying to you. Eat a tender, juicy Rhineland steak today. It's like music to your mouth. The best meat in Belize is Rhineland Meats. Atlantic Bank, building the future together. We now return to, to build a bridge. Like the roots of a human molar, these piles reach deep into the earth. And in some way, these men are performing a kind of root canal, preparing these stubs for the mother of all crowns, a bridge. So let's get this party started. We are way below the river's level, so we pump the water out, but the water keeps coming back in. We need a level floor to work from, and that's what's happening right here, right now. These men are shoveling this concrete right onto the ground, one load at a time. A couple inch floor is all they'll need. It's ironic that it all begins this way, so simply, so haphazardly, because, well, you'll see. 
And now that we have a level floor to work from, let's start by hanging these metal walls on the side. Not locked down, not just yet, but in the right place. We don't want to scare off the help, so we tell them to bring us some rebar. Because if the truth be known, we'll need a thousand of them for what we're building. Watch and see. Like drawing a giant tic-tac-toe, these steel bars intersect and are wired together. Pieces are cut and even more are added as they continue up the wall. How many more will they add? You wouldn't believe me even if I told you. Bring on the welders because now it's time to secure the other wall. These walls on the sides are the forms to hold the concrete in, to build this foot, so to speak. A concrete foot stuck on the stubs of these piles with a complicated cage of steel as its skeleton. Well, it's finished and ready to pour. And what did I tell you? Could you have ever imagined how much steel would go into this? This is how you build a bridge. And using magnets, even the tiny scraps of wire are removed. Men seeking perfection. Engineering. People of Belize, this is your bridge. And then the concrete mixing trucks start coming, one after another, filling up the guts of this cage. As this unbelievable framework of steel is covered by concrete, we begin to understand the definition of the word strong. No corners cut, no expense spared, designed, built, and brought into permanence by these men. And these cubes are samples, providing further proof of the quality of the concrete. As the men clean up from this day of hard work, the sun sets in Belize. But all too quickly it rises again as the pump blares out that irritating song. The foot that we have built has hardened and it is time to build ever skyward. The framework that secured the walls that kept the water out are being ripped out, no longer needed. We are secure in the ground. We are one with the piles. Our crown of steel and concrete is forever clamped onto the roots of this molar. And could you have ever imagined what is beneath your wheels as you cross over this bridge? Well, now you know to build a bridge. Someday in the not too distant future, a boy will ask his father how this bridge was built. These images will tell that story. On this day, the men were hanging forms to cast the very first pier, the first one of 28 towering 55 feet above the McCall River. Steel rods reached skyward embedded in the newly poured concrete base. We were nearly at ground level now, and that was progress. Now the coffer dams weren't needed so much and were beginning to get in the way. The welders cut the bolts and the cranes took the framework away. That day has long since passed, and now there stands a bridge. In my memory as fresh as yesterday, history was made, formed into stone. The molds around the base were pulled up as the men continued to weave the steel skeleton which would soon be encased in a solid concrete block, seven foot thick. This is the sum of a man's worth. A day spent working in the sun building a modern bridge for the young country of Belize. Fifteen mixing trucks stood in wait to spill the concrete to fill the hollow void. Eight men towed the mark, manning the chute and vibrating this concrete to the depths of the steel mesh that they had together made. Load upon load of concrete was dumped inside the mold, slowly turning to stone its proof tomorrow would tell what they had made, a bridge to last for generations for the people of Belize. I was there with these men, in the sun and the rain for over a year, watching this bridge rise out of the ground, a plan of success forged in sweat, cured by time, to span a river, to conquer nature. This is the desire of man, to have his way, to force his will upon the McCall. For a thousand years, men have built bridges of steel, wood, and stone, moving mountains of earth and bringing a world of change where there was none. Now is the time to ponder of changing this Belize for the better. 
you can see what machines and mathematics and the muscles of men are capable of. I think it truly amazing the power of mortal man, the accomplishments of those taking one step at a time. In these episodes we have learned of the feats of engineering, but also of the spirit of man. While the heart still beats, there is time. My name is Steve O'Dell, and you have been watching To Build a Bridge. Seven thirty a.m. Bright and early Monday morning, the men of the McCall are pulling the forms off the number two lift ready and raring to go again. Standing in a hole that two hours before was neck deep in water, both pumps had been running since sunup and the men were getting tired of standing around. There's lots to do and with the help of this 15 ton boom crane truck, they are pulling these steel forms while a couple other guys are roughing up the concrete to prepare for the next pour. It'll take 15 mixer trucks to fill this next pier, so they gotta keep them coming. Boom, boom, boom. They're dumping, vibrating, and moving along as they go. When you're pouring concrete, there's no breaks. Not till it's done. You gotta keep on moving. The welders are cutting holes in the sheet piles used to hold back the water when this 65-ton hydraulic crane truck pulls up. This is where we say goodbye to the coffer dams, but it won't be easy. These sheet piles were driven into the ground months ago, and to pull them out will be easier said than done. This should be interesting. The chains are tight, and the crane starts pulling. The men step back as this mighty machine begins to pull up the first of these solid steel interlocking sheets. There's not a lot to do, but get out of the way as these 25-foot steel sheets are lifted up and then laid to rest on the ground. This is the world of construction, and you are seeing it all. This is how they built the McCall. Well, that's one down, and about 50 more to go. Isn't this fun? The boss man says that this is taking way too long, that we're on a timeline here, and we're starting to get behind. We're going to crank up the speed on this process and start yanking them out three at a time jump up in the bucket and set those hooks the way I showed you. One this way and then one the other. When the boss man comes out on the site, you can bet that things are gonna start happening. Sure enough, that 65 ton crane was pulling them up three at a time. Well, it was, till it got hung up. They started jerking and it wasn't looking good, but the boss man said, don't pull straight up, pull to the right. Now you're gonna find out why they call him the boss. He's built bridges all over Belize, and what he said you can take to the bank. Those rusty sheet piles thought they were stuck forever. They put up a good fight. It took about 15 minutes. But then they came apart in the end, folded up like crumpled paper and taken away. Yeah, it was something to see jerking those sheet piles out of the ground, and when it was done, it felt good. Then an excavator with a claw bucket started dredging out some material to fill in where the sheet piles were before. We were starting to get into the rhythm of things now, and it was almost lunchtime. As much as we wanted to forget about those sheet piles, that wasn't going to happen. We would have to take them apart where we had pulled them three at a time. Strapped to a tree trunk with steel cables, we started slamming these things, trying to separate them. Sometimes slamming ain't enough. You need some good old-fashioned oil to grease these rusty devils. So now you know, it's never easy to build a bridge. To build a bridge will return after these messages.
Have your new building sprayed with polyurethane insulation. It keeps the hot out and keeps the cool in. Your building is literally being cooked by the sun and it will leak in time. Our polyurethane insulation seals your roof from leaks, protecting your investment and saving you money at the same time. New Buildings Limited on Iguana Creek Road. The men of Rhineland invite you to have the best weekend of your life by grilling outdoors with their premium meats. Make your own party. Invite all your friends. There ain't nothing better than a great hamburger straight off the grill. Those sausages look good. So does the steak. Best weekend of my life. Rhineland Meats. Western Rebuilders in Spanish Lookout is in the business of making your engine new again. There are so many services offered at Western Rebuilders. They are the best engine rebuilding machine shop in Belize. Put your trust in the Mennonites at Western Rebuilders and let your engine live again. At Caribbean Chicken, we know what it takes to produce healthy chickens. The all-natural food, the breeder stock, the careful analysis of growth, state-of-the-art incubators, a healthy environment, modern processing, and vacuum packaging. But you just know that it tastes good. Caribbean chicken. The best buildings are made of steel, fabricated right here in Belize, made to last forever and withstand the hurricane winds. Your steel building is erected right on the site by able men and giant machinery. Your investment is important to us at New Buildings Limited on Iguana Creek Road. Your new building dream can become a reality. It's easy with Remick seamless roofing, guttering, and siding. It's the best design and made to last. Creating seamless pieces up to 95 feet in length. Take your project to the next level with Remick. Iguana Creek Road. Iguana Boys Services. You won't believe their prices. Hunter Tools and Hardware. KYB Shocks and Struts. Oils, hydraulic fluid, car care products, and more. Honda Motorcycles. Come and get your oil changed. Brake jobs, shocks, and struts. Best prices around. Iguana Boys near Spanish Lookout. Hey, I want to introduce you to a better way to build homes and commercial buildings. Light Steel is the best way to build your home or commercial building. Stout, perfectly square, hurricane proof, made to last. Come see us at Iguana Creek Welding. Love the taste of a good steak is like music to your mouth. So tender and juicy, just melts in your mouth. Mm. The men of Rhineland invite you to listen to what your mouth has been saying to you. Eat a tender, juicy Rhineland steak today. It's like music to your mouth. The best meat in Belize is Rhineland Meats. Atlantic Bank, building the future together. We now return to, to build a bridge. It took well over a year to build the Mullins River Bridge in a place where the last two bridges had fallen, but this one will stand the test of time. We'll see. The new Mullins River Bridge located on the coastal road completes the new route for freight access from Belize City headed south. This was a daring undertaking for the bridge's designer, Roki Matos, to build a bridge where others had failed and some would not even have accepted the challenge. 40 foot high, 350 foot long, and 32 foot wide, this bridge would be tested by a hurricane two days after its completion. And now it begins. Who could forget those stress-filled days hanging the beams with the new launcher, overcoming the obstacle of passing the beams across the river to the other crane? These men would be tested, and this day would be remembered long afterward. The click-clack of your tires as they roll over this new bridge 
is a hurried reminder of the months of hard work done by the men of m and Blending concrete and steel, sweat and time, the Mullins River Bridge is now a reality for the people of Belize. You will see. I recall a hundred days spent in the brilliant sunshine watching motivated young men working and living together, building a bridge and forging relationships that would last a lifetime. In my mind, this was a testament to what men could accomplish to feed their families and to serve the needs of a growing nation. The tranquil water that flows beneath the Mullins River Bridge speaks no warning of what it can become when the rains are upon us. History has shown us that this river's nature can quickly turn against us and this bridge needs to be ready for when the floods they come. Literally a hundred tons of solid rock shroud and protect the piers of the Mullins River Bridge from the impact of the huge debris that is washed downstream with the floodwaters that are sure to come. But this is but one more method to ensure the investment in this bridge paid by the government of Belize to m and Engineering is an investment worthwhile, serving the people throughout the years. Together we have seen the contribution of the welders to the Mullins River Bridge. And likewise, we have witnessed the complicated ordeal of pouring a pillar 40 foot high. You will see. And we have ridden along on the mighty Caterpillar D6RXL as he made his first cut with the Ripper. You will see. And we were thrilled as a fleet of trucks and earth moving machinery reshaped the land like a sculptor carving his masterpiece. And who could forget the air of excitement as the beams arrived one by one, transported on their perilous six-hour journey from Belize City. No doubt, it's been an exciting adventure. From the driving of the piles to the last stroke of a paintbrush, the men of m and have left their mark on the hearts and minds of the Belizean people, building a bridge and changing a nation forever. You are invited to explore the enchanting land of Belize and travel over the bridges built by M&M. My name is Steve O'Dell and you have been watching To Build a Bridge. So what is it like to be in the driver's seat of a gigantic bulldozer? To have the ability to gouge out the earth? After riding along in this big caterpillar D6R XL, I've got a newfound respect for the men who do the earth moving. They're moving earth, yeah. Right here they're going down 10 feet, and that's just to start. To watch these men work, it's kind of like they're putting on a show. A show about shaping the earth. The men of m and are giving the Mullins River a major makeover. And lucky you, you've got the best seat in the house. And what you are seeing now is a greater one of the best road building machines ever made. And the combination of this heavy drum, the rolling motion and vibration is exactly what it takes to pack this ground. Every inch will be compacted and we're talking about a lot of space. These men are making precise measurements, this science of exactness which tells the machines how deep to cut. Well, you might as well get into the groove of things, because sometimes these men work the same area for three days in a row. It's kind of a slow dance, but your partner is a machine. Loads and loads of these gigantic rocks are being trucked in. And like a robot child in the sandbox, they are placed around this real-life sandcastle. Placed on top of this special black material, these rocks, piled 15 foot deep, will protect the pillars of the bridge and its foundation from anything that Mother Nature might throw our way. And so this dance continues through the day and into the night here on the Mullins River, because this is how you build a bridge. And when it's done, it even looks natural.
But these machines can't run by themselves. Men are working full time to keep these monsters in the mood for moving Earth. And there will be breakdowns that you gotta fix. You'll be maintaining and fueling the diesel hammer, maintaining the crane, or greasing up the mixer. You're on the clock, burning daylight. Keep on moving, that's the name of the game. So yeah, they're moving Earth, pushing it around, scraping it flat, redesigning the lay of the land, systematically and with precision. And they're cutting bush, whatever needs to be done. But they're also hauling a lot of sand, mountains of it, to feed the hungry mixers, cause it's gonna take a lot of concrete to build this bridge. And surprisingly, they'll need water, tanks of it. And we've seen the huge rocks that they call riprap, but this smaller stone is called Arlen, and when placed and packed, makes an excellent road surface. Good to know, huh? Yeah. And now may I direct your attention to the last exhibit on our little tour, the abutment, what connects the bridge with its banks on both sides. This last effort to protect the bridge is not built by a machine, but by human hands, one stone at a time. Any good engineer knows that sometimes you cannot improve on what nature has provided. And so this box of rocks confirms what we have suspected all along, that this bridge will stand for generations, serving those who pass this way. You have been watching to build a bridge. So what does happen after the beams have been placed? For one thing, it's one heck of an accomplishment. It's a good place to say, whew! The men are beginning to move around their new work environment. They're setting up safety lines, hanging platforms to work from. In the next little while, these men will build forms from one side to the other, tying the beams together. A framework of steel inside of concrete bolted to the beams. They're called diaphragms. There are 16 diaphragms in this section of the Mullins River Bridge. Formed and framed, braced and bolted, these diaphragms are ready to be cast. Men are clearing the work area and the steel is being doused with water. They're waiting for the pour. The concrete mixer is just below. The crane is in position and the bucket is filled. So many times I've watched these men set up to pour as gigantic buckets swing high overhead Two tons of concrete up and over, coming your way again and again until the job is done. It can't be easy to dump it into a slot one foot wide, but these men are pushing to get this job done. Get these diaphragms poured, vibrated, smoothed, and done onto the next one. <sighs> The next task at hand requires moving these concrete slabs from point A to point B. This bridge is getting a floor almost before you know it, but watch your fingers and toes, because once they set these down, it ain't easy to move them around. So they depend on precision measurements, only allowing for an eighth inch crack between the slabs. Things are starting to move pretty quickly now. A group of men are working over the side, building a temporary walkway out of rough cut lumber and ply board. Figured into these pre-stressed concrete beams are holes at regular intervals to bolt the walkway securely to the beam. And that sound that you hear is the next crew breathing down your neck, laying the steel, pushing you to finish your job so they can do their job building this bridge. It's never enough. I've learned over time. These deck slabs are even welded together as the steel makes its way across the bridge floor like metal snakes on the move. Now, what's this fella doing with this unusual apparatus? Now, this isn't an easy one to figure out. I watched these men for a time and then finally asked them what this was. Have you figured it out yet? So yeah, it's a drill of some kind, cutting a circular chunk all the way through these four inch slabs. They're stealing these too, 
I've seen them made in the yard. But why are they boring these holes? And at regular intervals too. I never figured this one out. I had to be told. These are drain holes for the rain. It goes under the bridge. So every day for about a year or so, I followed these men building these bridges. And what I learned, you're starting to learn too. That these bridges will last a lifetime. Every inch is gone over, clearly thought out. And now you've seen it with your own eyes. You'll be down this road. You'll cross this bridge. And you can bet your life it's safe. You have been watching to build a bridge. When you see these pre-stressed concrete beams sitting perfectly on the columns of a bridge, it seems as natural as it can be. And one might assume that this is just how they're made the bridge above and the river below, but placing these beams is quite possibly the most difficult task that you've ever seen performed. As old as time itself is the need for a surface to work from, somewhere sturdy to stand as you carry the load, a scaffold if you will, but one made of the hardest steel, one built in sections so it would fit to any span size. We'll call this a launcher, and placing it is the next dilemma. So with the help of a giant construction crane, we'll pick it up and slowly move it towards the gap that is 55 feet deep and wider than you would care to imagine. How could this possibly be done without the help of giant machinery, you might ask yourself? Constructing a bridge is a daunting task, even dangerous, but necessary. But with the launcher connecting both sides, it is feasible to pass the beam to the other side. And this is where our story begins. The men are busy as always on this bridge site when the foreman shouts, the beam is here, get your butts in gear. It takes every bit of six hours to pull a beam this size all the way from Belize City driving the coastal road. And with one giant yank, the crane's got the back end of the beam in the air, pulling it towards the launcher as the truck backs up some more, moving slowly and steadily until they finally set it down. Now they're strapping up a cable to the trailer, lifting it up, then setting it back down conveniently into a hole dug earlier with the excavator. There's no stopping us now. As the truck backs up, the beam begins to move across the launcher. Damn the bad luck, it's hung up on something. Things like this happen, you just gotta deal with it. The problem is that the joint in the track was crushed by the weight of the beam. So with a little welding, a little grinding and shaping, it seems like we're back on track. The word reaches the big man and he wants to know what's going on. It's like this, boss man. It got hung up, but now we got it fixed. We'll be moving the beam in a minute. Roki's got to take a look, because he don't want no problems. Once more, he's reassured that all is well. As the big man proclaims, this breaks over, let's move this beam. With a screech and a grind and the rev of a diesel power plant, the beam is scooted across the launcher, pretty as you please. It's like this, this beam is huge, and when it's straddling the river, we're going to pick it up, you see? Crane number two is hooking up on his end, and this whole thing is beginning to look pretty good. Now that this bad boy is set and still, let's take a closer look. See the bow? That's where the beam takes the weight. The men are climbing up the pillars to take their positions on part two of this little dance that we call hanging a beam. You got three feet to walk on, and we're going to give you a strap so you can pull this 40 ton beam. Sound easy? It's not, but hey. This is my job. Like many of the hardest things that we'll ever do, it starts off easy. The cranes are doing most of the work and you, you're wondering just how this is all going to work out. As the beam is raised higher and higher, the men on top are beginning to wonder why they're even up there. Life is kind of funny like that. Sometimes you get the pie jobs or so it seems and they are about to find out right now 
And the struggle begins when you realize that there's nowhere left to stand. And this is getting real. The boss man is shouting, hold it back, push it to the mark. And suddenly you realize that you are playing the lead role in this bridge construction show. All this hoo-ha has gotten the attention of the number two boss man. And it's time for him to show you how it's done. We will ride this monster all the way down. With commands that are crystal clear and experience beyond our years, this gigantic affair is orchestrated to sweet completion. As heart rates and tempers begin to return to normal, the beam is unhooked, just in time to see the next one coming down the road. Here's to you boys. You got your work cut out for you. To build a bridge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now that's all good and fine, but there was so much that was missed. Let's go back, way back, all the way back to when the beam first arrived. Hanging the beam with the launcher at Mullins River, take two. There's no getting around it. There's dirty work to be done. And with an investment like this hanging in the balance, it's got to be just right. This ground's got to be level. This ground's got to be compacted. There's got to be enough room to turn this mother around, and the whole country depends on it. What could be more important than building a bridge? People's got places to go and things to do, and they're in the business of taking care of business. So now you're starting to see just how cool engineering and bridge construction really is. So rock on, men of m, &M Engineering. The whole world's watching you to build a bridge. Here at the Pile Factory, men are making piles and beams, 5-8 steel cable wrapped with heavy coiled wire. And all eight cables are pulled tight to 30,000 pounds like giant guitar strings. And then encased in high density concrete with special additives like plasticizer and the perfect mix of sand and gravel. And this is how you make pre-stressed concrete beams. And when this super concrete comes down the chute, the men get busy filling up the molds, spreading, settling, and smoothing the concrete around the tightly stretched cable and wire skeleton that is now inside the concrete. For one day, the concrete bakes in the hot Belize sun. Then men hook up cables and jerk it out of its mold with a gigantic crane. Your day has come, Mr. Bean. You will be hoisted on high, strapped to the hammer, and pounded into the ground. You will become what holds in place a gigantic bridge, you and 60 of your friends. And this is how it begins. Slam, 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 slam. Again and again. This is what they do at m, &M. And now you are seeing the crew loading a beam onto a truck. They back up and under on one end and lift up and over with the crane in the rear. Brother, you don't know what heavy is. 60 tons to pull down the road, strapped down by 16 chains. My heart's pounding all the way. For 100 miles, we run with the police in the front and the police in the rear. But there's one hill the truck can't pull, so a crane waits to pull us up to the other side. When you're 130 foot long, you need lots of space to turn. So you'll have to run over a lot of curbs and sidewalks and pray when the beam takes the lick. After five hours of very tense driving, we arrive at the bridge site. There's no way we can go down the steep hill, not with this beam pushing us. We need a big bulldozer to hold us back. The truck driver sets his air brakes, but that won't stop him. This beam is coming down and they've got to steer it to the right spot at the bottom. The driver sweats, the trailer creaks, and the brakes groan as we go as slow and easy as we can. This is not easy. Even when you do it right, the rear of the trailer is never close enough. It's gotta be lifted up by a crane and scooted over to the very edge. Yeah. And after the beam has been unstrapped, the two cranes begin to lift together. The pressure's on them now. There can be no distraction as this team concentrates on the job at hand, which is 60 tons of concrete, 60 feet in the air. This is serious business, men working together to slay the dragon. No job more important than the other. This is how you build a bridge.
There were 36 of these giant beams hung at the McCall. I remember every damn one of them. How could I forget? We were making history, building the biggest bridge in Belize. And you were there too. <laughs>